say this, could you please um, turn off anything that makes noise? That would be uh, great. Um, if you haven't signed in, check in with me after the concert, um, for those of you who are signing in. I do see a lot of new faces, though, so welcome to um, this concert series. We do two every term. Uh, this is the last one for this term. Next term, our two concerts, one will be the um, Penn State University Brass Quintet, which is all uh, brass players from the uh, her faculty members at Kent State, and also the African Music Ensemble will be coming next term. So for those of you who are interested, that's what our next term has in store for us. But for now, let's spend an evening enjoying our musicians that we have tonight. So this is the Moss Stanley Quartet. Thank you. This is Norman Tischler, this is Johnny Reinhardt, and this is Brian Wildman, and we're going to play a little variety of music for you. Um, about halfway through, we'll see if you have any questions. And the first tune we're going to play is an old jazz standard called Things Ain't What They Used To Be. Overall, taking notes is going to be short. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, um, let's do their life. This is like probably my favorite Beatles song. Cool song. Baritone, 
got bass and then you saw contra bass. Each one of them has its different personality and each person who plays any of the instruments has their unique approach to the instrument. Like you get you know, somebody like, oh, uh, I don't know, you get, you get somebody like Clarence Clements.
sister, I would go home and listen to her practice, and I would jazz up her lesson and watch, and, and it would just really tick her off. <laughs> and, uh, and then I listened to the Beatles, and I heard a guy called Ramsey Lewis, who's a, one of the world's who's a great jazz piano player, but they asked him, Blue Note, which is a jazz label, said, could you do a Beatles record? And they asked Monk, Theologius Monk, first, and he said no, but Ramsey Lewis said yes, and I heard him play Beatles songs and playing funky, and I was like, wow, that's what I want to do. So here I am. <laughs> and that's what we do now. We do other songs too. But, uh, no, so now, and um, what I enjoy the most, I like playing all styles, because I think there's only two kinds of music. There's good music, and there's bad music. And it's what every one of us this is good, it's good, and whatever one of us thinks is bad, it's bad. If you like it, it's wonderful. I actually had to like Justin Bieber for a while, because I had a 13 year old daughter. You know, for about a year, she wanted to be Mrs. Bieber. Not anymore, but I, 
watched him and he was, I was like, well, he can really sing. And he, can, he writes good songs and he actually plays the drums very well. So you, you, you can't be, I like country music, I love jazz, um, rock. I grew up playing rock and roll. So it's, uh, it's all good. So, um, now, stop, I don't know what to play. What should we play? It's Christmas music. <laughs> really? You want to have Christmas song? I'll play Christmas song. Say that one. I'll play Christmas song. That's my favorite. My big role, he's not supposed to play Christmas music until December, but we'll do this one. We're not getting another concert until it's all done.
band called War, and there was a Brit actually wrote it, Eric Burton, who used to be in a band called The Animals. Long time. Brit? Yeah, Eric Burton. Brit. 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 Okay, we're gonna do, uh, it's an old jazz tune. So actually, now that we're both old, we can listen to probably our theme song now. It's called Don't Get Around Much Anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
you yes. first. I am party. so pleased you could come. Yes. But please. The little one will be up here next week playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the thing that you don't know, is that Moss teaches my son. And this is how I know Moss. Um, and he's an extraordinary teacher, actually. Um, uh, my son started in Suzuki violin, which was a disaster. And uh, so <laughs> we, we moved him to piano. And, and Moss is, you know, immediately comes in and says, play the 12-bar blues, play the Beatles. You know, he's six years old, and he does it. It takes time, but he does it. And, and it's, a, it's a credit to Moss, who's an extraordinary teacher. Who so. plays a musical instrument? Who over here plays a musical instrument? Yeah. That's it. What do you play? I play saxophone. Awesome. And you? Clarinet. We won't hold that against you. <laughs> How about who plays over here? Cole. How about over here? Those are the expensive seats. Yeah. Well, those are the students who are willing to come 15 minutes early to insure them. <laughs> so this is, uh, whether you've heard, this is by Miles Davis, who is like one of the, I guess, the jazz kings of, of jazz. He was like an amazing trumpet player, and he wrote this one.